Hello, this is Natalie with MoxieTonic.com. Thank you so much for buying the social media icons for your blog and your email newsletter. Today I'm going to show you how you can upload these into a WordPress blog. Hopefully you're already familiar with how to upload an image to your media library. Um, I'm just going to go through those steps uh, quickly just in case there's somebody who's not um, or is pretty new to WordPress. In the media library you press add new. You're going to select your files and open it. And that's really all we're going to do. I'm actually just using this one as an example. You just push save changes and you can see that now it's in your media library. I'm going to come down here and um, use these ones that are hanging out um, right here. When I choose edit on my image, it shows me right here what the URL for my image is. It's basically a place where WordPress knows where it stored this image. We're going to use this in a few uh, minutes when we go over to our widgets area. To, um, I'm just going to cut and paste it and we'll type it into the HTML code that we're going to use in a few minutes. So, that's all you need to know about the media library. Next, we're going to go over to the appearance and everybody's WordPress theme is going to be a little bit different but you're definitely going to find a place where it has widgets and I like to use the text widgets because it allows you to put in HTML and really control how you how everything lines up. I'm going to give it a name This little square right here is where we're going to type in the HTML and if you're not familiar with HTML it's not um, too crazy um, once you kind of start to understand how it works. I've outlined right here the code that you're going to need to put in your image and also put in the uh, link information. I'm just going to cut and copy this into my box right here. And anytime you have a caret, this basically frames the code. A is going to refer to the fact that you're making this a link. href means the hyperlink reference. So this is where your um, URL that you're going to link to is going to be placed inside these quotation marks. IMG stands for image and source stands for the, the place where the image is coming from. If you remember back to the um, when we were in media I showed you where that URL was. We're going to go back there and grab it right now to stick it in to our code. So before I leave this page, I'm going to save it and we'll head back over here to media. Click at ed edit and grab the URL. I copied it. I'm going to go back to widgets. and back in here to my image source. Paste in that URL. Just going to close up the quotation marks so that there's no extra spaces. And then the next step we need to do is grab the reference for the URL where we want to link. Since this is my Twitter icon, I'm going to get my Twitter page and I pulled that already. You can get this from your browser window if you want, but I just stuck it in here to make it really easy. I'm going to paste it. 
and we'll save it and go take a look at the site so you can see how it will look in the email, the blog page itself. So here is what we've done. We put in this little widget and we've put in the social media icon right there. Um, I have to add one little caveat is that this green box is not going to appear around it in your browser. This is just a setting that I have on my browser. Um, it should just appear without the green box and if I click on it it is going to take me straight to my Twitter page so everybody who sees me on my blog can connect me on Twitter click that little follow button so we'll go back to our widgets page and repeat the process for each icon that we want to include in our social media find me on the web spot. Um, you go back over to media. We'll do Facebook here. We'll edit. Grab the image URL or the file URL as it says. Come back to widgets. and paste that URL right in there where it's got the space for the source and then you want to get the link URL and put that in your reference it really doesn't matter the order that you're doing it in but then we can save this and go back one more time and look at the blog. We actually have to go back to the blog and hit refresh and there you go. There's your Facebook. And you can do that for each and every icon. And if you have questions or you want to know more about how you can really utilize your social media connections by building an email list from those connections, I encourage you to sign up for the free course on building your business with an email list. And if you have any questions about that or about uploading your images to um, your blog or email newsletter, please don't hesitate, hesitate to email me. Thanks and have a really great day.